If you like Mexican food and corn on the cob, then I promise you, you are not going to miss this video. Hey friends, it's Kelly and welcome back to Mama Needs a Goal. Thank you so much for joining me today. And if you're new here, welcome, welcome. So friends, I have been wanting to make this video for you all. I have been craving some Mexican street corn on the cob. So today I am going to make it for you all, but I'm going to be using my air fryer instead of the grill. You can do this on the grill, you can do it in the oven or in the air fryer. It is a dreary day and it's been raining off and on. And I'm like, you know what? I'm not putting this off anymore. We're just gonna do it in the air fryer. So I'm going to quickly go over all the ingredients and then we'll get started. All right, my friends, I have some Duke mayo. You can use any kind of mayo you like. I always use Duke. We have some sour cream. It's best to use regular sour cream, not light. We have some chopped cilantro. You can use fresh if you'd like. Olive oil. I have four ears of corn, a lime, some tahine, I believe that's how it said, tahine sauce, so oh, not sauce, but uh, seasoning. Some black pepper. I have some chili powder and paprika. And you can use smoked paprika or regular paprika, it doesn't matter. And friends, I forgot the most important part of this entire <laughs> um, recipe. The cheese, the cheese. I'm not quite sure how you say this, cotija, cotija, I'm not really sure. It's a queso cheese. Um, I found this at my local Safeway where the shredded Mexican cheese is. I cannot believe I forgot that, the most important ingredient. So I will be adding this as well. All right, my friends, so I have three ears of corn. I did have four, but when I shucked it, the one ear was not in very good shape. So I normally would do four ears of corn. I just have some olive oil spray. I'm going to spray my corn with it and turn it over. Just get all sides. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and put it, oh, I got my air fryer sprayed, I have to wipe that down. Put this in the air fryer, when I'm touching, we're going to put it in on three, uh, excuse me, 375, I'm going to put it in for seven minutes and then I'm going to flip them. All right, my friends, so the air fryer is going, so it's going to be a little bit loud. I have myself a bowl here. We're going to put in a third cup of mayo in our bowl, just like that. And then a third cup of um, sour cream. Okay. And then I have a quarter cup of our cheese. And then I have just about an eighth cup of, or two ta a tablespoon and a half, I should say, of chopped cilantro. And then we're going to add in a half a teaspoon of chili powder, a half a teaspoon of paprika, and a half a teaspoon of pepper. And then we're going to add in some of the tahin, ta, ta, ta or however that's said. We're just going to do a half a teaspoon of that as well. Friends, this is salty, so you don't, and the cheese obviously is salty too, so you don't want to add um, salt in here because of that. You just want to go ahead and mix this together really well. And then you can just taste it and adjust as needed. If it's too not strong enough, you can add a little bit more. Alrighty, just like that, my friends. And now we're going to go ahead and wait until our um, corn is done, and then we'll flip it, and then we'll finish it all off. Friends, I just want to let you know, I did a quick little taste test off camera, and I went ahead and added another half a teaspoon of chili powder. Um, so, 
that worked perfectly for me but always start with a half and then work your way up because you cannot take away but I did add a little bit more chili powder all right my friends our seven minutes is up oh it's starting to get a little brown exactly what I wanted Let's just turn them around and turn them over just like that I'm gonna put them back in for about seven more all right my friends Ooh, it is done look at that look look you see that see the Alrighty, we're gonna let this cool j down just a little bit um, before we put our sauce on and then we'll do our little taste test all right my friends we are now gonna go ahead and take our sauce just use a little brush if you don't have a brush just kind of use a knife we're gonna go ahead and just layer that right on there like that Yum. I'm just going to put this over on the plate real quick. Does that look delicious? <laughs> I'm being a little generous because I only have three ears instead of four since my one ear was kind of bad. It did not take long for these to cool, by the way, just so you know. Alrighty. We're going to put that right on there. Move this out of the way. Alrighty, and you can choose to roll it in the cheese, sprinkle the cheese, whatever you want. I am just doing a sprinkle. And this is just the remainder of the uh, cheese. It's like a, was it a quarter a cup or a, th a third cup? I don't remember now, top of my head. <laughs> that and then I have a little bit of cilantro left I thought I had more than what I did but it's okay just sprinkle that right on top just like that and then you can take a lime and just do a little bit of lime on the side throw a little lime in there and there you have it friends just like that now it's time to do that taste test all right, my friends, there you have it. Does that look delicious or what? All right, my friends, we're gonna go ahead and do a taste test. Mmm. Mmm-hmm. Mmm, so good. Mmm. Really good, friends really really good i love it i love it i love it all right my friends so that'll do it for today i really hope you enjoyed this video if you did please give it a thumbs up don't forget hit that little subscribe button as it does greatly help me out and also please check me out over on facebook instagram pinterest twitter and tiktok as i am active on all those social media sites as well so friends thanks so much and i'll catch up with you next time bye